Hi everybody, it's Martin again at Flickin' Feathers and I'm tying another hopper pattern for you. This is the Western Lady Hopper. It's quite an effective wee uh, hopper pattern. Bit busy, but it's uh, fun to tie and worth tying up, worth a place in your box. As always, there will be a materials list in the description along with a link to Patreon um, for anybody that's interested in the members only content and access to um, giveaways in the future. So I've got a hook here, this is a size 10, 10 and 10s, 12s, maybe 8s if you like. Um, and I've run on some pink thread. Okay. Take my body hackle, I'm just using sort of fun this brown saddle hackle. Tie that in. And then I'm going to take a length of 2 mil foam, just a fine strip. Just stretch it as a tie back so it kind of thins it down. Puts a wee taper in. Flatten that. And then just wind this forward. And stop at the halfway point. So there, yeah, that's fine. Set that back nice and secure. Take away that waste foam. Then you can take your hackle and palmer it forward. Use a slightly oversized hackle here. Um, I want it to be quite buggy and about 6 tons, quite heavily hammered stems thin so I'll just fold it back snap it away I'll take another piece of pink and it's about just a strip cut just about the width of the gap just round the corners off and I'll tie this in so that it just extends past about the first third of this rear section. Two or three wraps. Just plenty to hold it. And I've got this uh, slightly wider root beer or brown. And I'm going to cut a long a long taper in it just screw that off a wee bit and I'll leave it protruding just beyond the back of the hook like that just tie it off in the same place Nice and tight, make sure it doesn't twist. Now we're ready for some for the wing, which is deer or elk here. I prefer deer. But up to you. So just some white tail deer. Just stacking it. for that and just slightly longer than the foam and just a, a wrap on top make sure everything's on top and you can come in trim the butts close so we can get the cider just a piece of orange foam cut slightly narrower than the body. Tie that in. I'll pull my wing again just to stop it getting spread too much. Something like that. It's quite nice. Now we're ready for the legs. So the rear legs I've tied two strands a rubber leg together and I've cut one so that I've got a front a front section and a rear section. 
I'm going to tie these with a knot. <coughs> Excuse me, the knot just at the back of the body. Couple of wraps. Same on the off side, just towards the back of the body with the knot. This stage you can still adjust them by about and if you just press them together you can see that they're the same length, just check. Then we'll just come in and trim them while we're here. And I'll leave the cut ends or the, the the sort of tag ends at the front. I'll just level even up the length of them. And they can be fairly short, they don't need to be that long. And I'll pull everything up, make sure you've got a nice tight wrap, pull everything up, and work your thread forward. And I like to put a couple of wraps just to increase the diameter here. Um, a few few layers of thread, just gives the foam something to bind to. I'll come in. We touch a super glue. I think I flooded my eye there, so I'll just take a wee scrap of feather, clean it, and then I pull this pink forward. So I kind of gather and wrap, get that tied in right behind the eye. Take a wrap in front just to stand it up a wee bit. And then it's just a case of coming in and getting the, the, the dark foam in the back and the cider. And that's locked fairly well in place now. Trim the orange away and I'll trim the, the pink and the, the brown out in front just to create a wee head and then the last thing is just a set of legs at the front take half a length of the barred rubber cut it in half again Position the leg and the same in the off side. I'll just pull that up, put the thread tight, adjust them so they're the same length. And then I'll pull everything up. Oh, sorry, I'll take a make sure I tight, make sure you tighten the uh, legs in. I nearly forgot. And then pull it up, get the thread right in front. And then I'll whip finish this between the foam and the eye. Make sure that's nice and tight. And you could put finish through the foam if you like, but I like I prefer to do it over the eye like that. And then I'll just round what's your rubber legs, just round the corners of the foam. Although you probably don't really need to do that. Get the shape. And that is uh, the Western Lady Hopper. There's the top view, there's the bottom. Quite a busy fly, very buggy looking. Uh, I mean, if you're fishing anywhere with a lot of terrestrial activity, grasshoppers, I mean, this is well worth sticking in your box. Just got to.
Hot the belly with super glue and exposed thread for a bit of durability. And there you go. So I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please remember to subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up below. And tight lines it there guys. Bye.